My fellow Americans, we need to chat. Blue collar prez. Listen, there's a lot of people living in their mom's basements and, uh, you know, proverbially sit on the couch and eat the Doritos or the Cheetos and drink the Mountain Dew with the headset on and the Xbox and the, you know, they want to borrow the car, they got to ask mom for permission and these human beings, unfortunately, aren't amounting to much and they're not amounting to much because they're not taking personal responsibility to better themselves. They're letting somebody else shoulder the burden of their protection, provision, and blessing. And as such, these folks, we rail against them because they open their mouths, they whine, they complain. And at least for me, I don't feel like they have a right to whine and complain because they're not doing anything that lends any gravitas to their existence, right? They're, they're consumers, they're uh, low output or no output human beings. And we give them guff, guff that they've earned, but guff because of it. Well, hear me out here. When those youngins revolt against their parents because their parents won't let them do something. Kind of gets my fur up. You know, it's like you're petting a cat backwards kind of thing. Well, think about this. On a macro scale, here in these United States of America, we, Americans, are in many instances living in our parents' basement, eating Doritos, playing games, dependent upon somebody else for our provision, protection, and blessing. You know, there's more people than not that receive some form of government welfare. The reason I bring this up as unpopular as it may be. Hey, it's my tax dollars. I'm just taking them back. Okay? Copy that. But here's the real question. How does one revolt against the tit that they are suckling on? How does that happen? You can't you can't be ideologically correct and sound in your judgment and sound in your convictions and revolt against the very thing that's perpetuating your existence. I know that's an unpopular opinion, but it's why we advocate so strongly that you take personal responsibility, that you execute your personal Liberties that you go out there and do the things that you take care of yourself. You produce your own food. You protect your own family. You teach your own kids. You read your own Bible. Because when you're under the thumb of another man, your opinion doesn't count very much. And I understand completely that we are supposed to have a representative republic. They work for us, not the other way around. But that ship has sailed, and it's been sailing for a long time. And if you think we still have a constitutional republic, take one look around and tell me if these elected representatives actually revere the Constitution, actually do their jobs, or don't they? Because you shall know them by their fruits, facta non verba, deeds not words. And their deeds are misaligned with the idea that they should protect and defend the Constitution of these United States. And so, I cannot encourage you more strongly to quit suckling on the teat of the federal government, especially if you believe that it's fixing to collapse, especially if you're somebody who thinks that at some point you might find yourself diametrically opposed to it. And I've heard the argument, well, this is like the Hebrews that are robbing Egypt before the Exodus. Maybe. But just remember that Pharaoh pursued them. And I don't know if we as a country still have that divine protection and blessing anymore.
May God bless you and may God bless these United States of America. Blue Collar Prez, out.